Woo, 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 woo. So black. I find my needs in five places. I ain't never need to leave, huh? Five stations. I got my kitchen in my room. My basement. I got a bottle filled with shrooms. I got basic. I got some Lindsay for your low hair. I got a pocket full of weed. I bet the world is going nowhere. If they anything like me. Damn, that's so fucking boring. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Guy here. Today, we have a quick project where I'm going to show you how I'm going to add this new Western Digital hard drive to my NAS. You can see here that Volume 1 has an alert on it. If I go under Volume 1, it shows here that I'm running out of space. So I have a total of 32 terabytes, as you can see here. But my 32 terabytes are being used close to or over 90% of utilization. Right now, I have four disks of 12 terabytes. We have one, two, three, four. And they are put in red five. That's why we have a total of 32 terabytes. And we have um, 12 terabytes of security. Down here, you can see that I'm using 25 terabytes. I only have five terabytes free. This one is used only for VMs. So for now, we are trying to fix this by adding a new disk. And to do that, or to understand how it works, I usually like to use a calculator. I have the Synology calculator pulled up. Let me reset all of this and show you what I currently have and what is my goal. I have 12 terabytes and I have four disks of 12 terabytes. That's why if you scroll down here, you can see that the total I have is 32.7 and I have 10.9 um, on of security one of the disks can fail and I will be fine and able to replace it so what I want to do now is add one more disk if we come back here add a 20 terabyte here you can see down here that the storage capacity goes from 32 to 44 terabyte and I still have my 10.9 terabyte of security and I have 7.3 that is not being used. But my goal or my end goal is to replace the 12 terabyte one by one to have all 22 terabyte. So let's go up here and see what would happen if I have 22 terabyte everywhere. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, because the one terabyte I have for SSD, I mean for VMs, I'm going to get rid of it. So if I have all 20 terabyte, I'm going to have 90 terabyte of storage on this NAS, and this is really good. And uh, this is for my NAS. It's a NAS I've been talking about on this channel. I showed you how I installed it a while ago. It's from Synology. It runs really well. It serves me really well. I have everything being synchronized to the NAS. And um, if you want to see more videos about the NAS, I have a link in the description to that playlist. Up here, it's telling me that I'm low on space. I either have to add additional drives or identify files that I can delete. And I personally don't like to delete files, so I'm going to leave all the files there. What I'm going to do is add this new hard drive and then we'll sync the data between all the drives. It may take hours, that's why I'm doing it in the middle of the night. It's actually 1.30 a.m. my time. So I will just get it started. I don't know how long it's gonna take. We're gonna see it together. So now let's go ahead and insert the new disk in the NAS. So I'm going to open the hard drive tray here insert a new disk and put it back in. You can wait a little bit to confirm and see the light on the hard drive, which means it's been onboarded by the NAS. Now we go back to the dashboard and we go under storage manager, HDD and SSD. Here we can see that the disk number six is detected. It's just sitting there, not added to anything. Now we have to add it to the pool number one that we have. So I'll go under pool number one, on these options, you can see add drive. I'm going to select that. Here we can see that we have the four 12 terabyte drives that we have, and we have the drive number six sitting on the side. I'm just going to select it and slide it in the right place. And it's showing us that the total capacity we're going to have by the end of this will be 43.6 terabyte. I'm going to click next. Now I have a compatibility warning. Um, it usually happens when I use Western Digital. It's not actually approved by Synology, but I think it's fine. I've been doing it without any problem. So I'm going to go next. And here it's asking if I want to directly expand the volume number one that we have, or I just want to add the drive to the pool and not expand the volume. You can leave it unchecked if you are planning to create a new volume on the pool. 
But in my case, I'm going to expand the pool number one. Now we see the details of what I'm about to approve. So I'm adding the disk number six to the pool number one. And it's going to give me a total of about 44,000 gigabyte. I'm clicking on apply. You have a warning telling me that all the data on the hard drive will be deleted. The hard drive number six, which is fine. And I'm clicking OK. So the new hard drive is being initialized right now. It's going to take a few minutes. And after that, the drive is being added to the pool. This will take a long time. As you can see here, it shows three days. And I can confirm it literally took three days. I started this Sunday night. It went all the way to Wednesday night, almost Thursday morning. So this is what it looks like after three days. So we can go under pool number one. You can see that there is no warning anymore. And I have 43.6 terabyte of capacity available. That's it for this project, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I do, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel to see all my future videos when I post them. And also make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram for the behind the scenes and everything I share there. And if you are studying for the Cisco CCNA 200 301, I have a course available on en.kbtrains.com. You can go there to check it out. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.